A new and mysterious structure, known as an odd radio circle, ORC, called COS, has been discovered near the center of our Milky Way galaxy, challenging our understanding of cosmic phenomena. This strange ring of radio light, visible only in radio wavelengths, breaks the patterns of other known ORCs, which are usually found far from the galactic plane. Its nearly perfect circular shape and flat radio spectrum set it apart from similar structures, sparking curiosity among astronomers about its origins and what it could reveal about the universe. In this video, we will explore what makes COS so unique, the possible explanations for its formation, and the exciting scientific implications of this discovery, characteristics and uniqueness of ORC Kiklos. COS is not just another odd radio circle. It's a discovery that's redefining what we know about these mysterious cosmic phenomena. Detected by the Meerkat Radio Telescope in South Africa, COS stands out due to its unique location near the plane of the Milky Way. Typically, ORCs are found far above or below the galactic disk, suggesting that they are either relatively close to us within our galaxy or situated in distant galaxies far beyond. COS, however, defies this pattern by being located just six degrees above the galactic plane, putting it in one of the most dynamic and active regions of our galaxy. This placement makes Kiklos an exceptional case, prompting astronomers to rethink the formation and nature of these radio circles. What truly sets Kiklos apart is its nearly perfectly circular shape, stretching 80 arc seconds across but only six arcs thick. Such symmetry suggests a highly energetic and well-organized event, possibly involving massive releases of energy. Unlike other ORCs, which often display distinct spectral lines from elements like hydrogen or oxygen, COS has a surprisingly flat radio spectrum devoid of notable features. This flatness points to a non-thermal origin, such as synchrotron radiation, a process where charged particles spiral around magnetic fields emitting radio waves. This characteristic not only makes Kiklos unique, but also hints that it could represent an entirely new class of astrophysical phenomena that we have yet to fully understand. The phenomenon of ORCs is relatively new, with the first one identified in 2019 using the Australian Square Kilometre Array Pathfinder, a SCAP. Since then, only a handful of ORCs have been documented, each posing its own set of challenges to astronomers. Most previously discovered ORCs are linked to violent cosmic events, such as intense star formation, supermassive black hole mergers, or galactic outflows, all of which occur in distant galaxies. However, COS resides in our cosmic neighborhood, suggesting that its origin may differ fundamentally from the established explanations for ORCs. This distinctive location near the galactic center a bustling area filled with dense star clusters, turbulent molecular clouds, and the gravitational might of the supermassive black hole Sagittarius A asterisk, opens up possibilities for unknown processes at work in this chaotic environment. Possible origins of Kiklos. The origins of Kiklos remain debated among astronomers, with several compelling but unproven theories on the table. One leading hypothesis is that Kos could be the remnant of a wolf red star, a massive, unstable star known for its fierce stellar winds. These stars are some of the hottest and most luminous in the universe, characterized by their ability to shed their outer layers through powerful radiation-driven winds, which create vast glowing shells of gas and dust. In this scenario, Kiklos could be the outer shell left behind by a wolf red star that has lost its outer layers to space. The observed flat radio spectrum would be consistent with this type of mass shedding, although no such star has yet been identified within the ring, making this hypothesis intriguing but not conclusive. There are a few candidate stars within Kiklos, including one bright bluish star approximately 24,500 light years away. If this star is indeed responsible, then Kiklos's ring would span about 10 light years, showcasing an extraordinary example of mass loss. However, the absence of direct evidence connecting any specific wolf red star to Kiklos leaves this explanation as one of many possibilities still under investigation. Another possibility is that Kiklos could be a supernova remnant, which is a leftover shell from a powerful stellar explosion. 
Supernovas are known to create spherical nebular structures when their shock waves collide with surrounding gas and dust. These remnants usually emit in multiple wavelengths, including X-rays, but Kiklo shows no such emissions, making this an unlikely explanation. However, it is possible that an atypical explosion or an unusual interaction with the interstellar medium could have resulted in a shell visible only in radio wavelengths, leaving open the possibility of a supernova origin. Some astronomers have also considered that Kiklo's might be a planetary nebula, which is the final stage in the life of a sun-like star. During this phase, stars shed their outer layers to form beautiful, glowing shells of ionized gas. However, planetary nebulae typically emit in optical wavelengths, particularly in the hydrogen alpha line, which has not been detected in Kiklo's. The absence of these expected optical signals further distances coasts from being a conventional planetary nebula and adds to the overall enigma surrounding its nature. Each potential source, from wolf red stars to supernova remnants and planetary nebulae, brings its own set of observational signatures that coast does not fully match. This complexity suggests that coast might point to new, previously unknown processes in stellar evolution or the behavior of high-energy particles in space. The path forward, future observations and unanswered questions. The discovery of Kiklos is just the beginning, and astronomers are gearing up for more observations to uncover its secrets. The next step involves using advanced telescopes, like the James Webb Space Telescope, to gather detailed spectral data on the stars within COS. This will be crucial in determining whether any hidden wolf rayet stars or other stellar phenomena could be the source of this enigmatic ring. Additionally, astronomers plan to utilize the European Southern Observatory's Very Large Telescope, VLT, and the upcoming Square Kilometer Array, SKA, which will dramatically improve our ability to detect faint radio emissions and pinpoint the structure's exact distance and origin. These observations will focus on specific wavelengths that might reveal colder dust around coasts, further supporting the wolf rayet star theory, or perhaps suggesting something entirely new. Understanding Kiklos' origin could have broader implications for astronomy. For instance, if it's confirmed to be the result of a massive star shedding its layers, it could provide insight into the late stages of stellar evolution, particularly for rare and unstable stars. Alternatively, if linked to galactic winds driven by starburst activity or supermassive black hole interactions, coasts could help us better understand how energy and matter are distributed in our galaxy. What makes Kiklo so special is that it opens a window into parts of the galaxy that are otherwise hidden from view. ORCs allow astronomers to probe the interstellar medium, the vast spaces of low-density gas that surround galaxies and connect them on a cosmic scale. By studying these rings, we can learn more about the flow of gas in and out of galaxies, which is crucial for understanding how galaxies evolve over time. Outro. Thank you for joining us on this journey into the mysteries of ORC Kiklos. We hope you enjoyed exploring this incredible discovery and the fascinating science behind it. If you found this video interesting, please like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on future cosmic explorations. Enjoy!